You know how most AI tools just give you answers or write a paragraph or two when you ask them something. Well, today's AI doesn't just talk back, it builds things. My name is Daniel and in this video, we are diving into Minimax Agent, a next-gen AI platform that doesn't just respond to your prompts. It actually creates full web apps, interactive games and even professional dashboards, all from plain everyday language. No coding, no complicated tools, no learning curve. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. Let's get into it. What is Minimax Agent? So guys, let me tell you about Minimax Agent, because this thing is totally different from what you've probably seen before. Instead of just answering questions, this thing actually builds stuff for you. We're talking about creating web apps, interactive games, presentations and doing real research all from just telling it what you want in plain English. The crazy part is how simple it is to use. You don't need to learn coding or figure out special prompting tricks. Just describe what you want like you're talking to a friend and it goes to work making it happen. It's basically your personal digital assistant that can turn any idea into reality without you needing to know anything technical. This eliminates all those barriers that usually stop people from creating things. No coding skills required. No learning complex software, no spending hours figuring out new tools. You just explain your vision and Minimax Agent handles all the technical stuff behind the scenes. Minimax Agent in action. So guys, let's look at Minimax Agent. It's really an innovative platform that helps you build web apps using artificial intelligence. And because it's a no-code tool, it means you can create full, interactive apps just by describing what you want in plain language. Minimax Agent works like a conversation with an AI. You tell it what you want to build, and the AI takes care of the code, the design, and the functionality. This is an example of the agent-based approach to development, where the AI acts like a real developer, handling the technical side for you. You can upload a file, or you can connect any service from the MCP marketplace using the MCP protocol, which lets you take advantage of built-in integrations. Let's build a simple but useful app, a dashboard with different calculators. This will show off what the platform can do when it comes to creating practical tools. Take a look at how the prompt is structured. We clearly defined the functionality, UI pattern, layout template and technical requirements. This approach is called structured prompting. It means creating well-organized prompts for AI agents to understand and work with more effectively. The platform automatically starts working on the task. It analyzes your prompt and everything you asked it to do, then uses modern web standards and responsive design principles. The result is clean, production-ready code. You'll just need to wait a little bit while it does its thing. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. Let's take a closer look at what the platform created. On the right side of the screen, you can see the result. A calculator dashboard with a clean, professional UI design. Here are the main elements. A header with navigation tabs. A basic calculator set as the main tab. A clean layout in dark theme, very minimal and tidy. You can type in numbers and operations and everything works smoothly. The calculator is fully functional and you can even open it in a separate tab. Everything runs just as it should. There's also a percentage calculator. For example, we can calculate 15% of 128. Below you can see a calculator that handles percentage changes. You can also try out a tip calculator, which is pretty handy. There's also a unit converter built in. You can convert 100 meters into feet or switch between other units. And in the remaining tabs, you can see and try a loan calculator and a BMI calculator. So you can enter your height and weight and it will calculate your body mass index. What's really cool is the interactive approach. The AI didn't just build the app, it also tested and improved it along the way, fixing any issues it ran into. In the case of the BMI calculator, for example, it added missing features all on its own. So that's Minimax Agent, a tool that lets you build real web apps with AI. Now we're going to build a full-on Netflix clone in just a few minutes using the Minimax Agent, a powerful combo of Manus and Lovable. You'll see how AI can generate complex web apps with responsive design 
and interactive features. Here's what a normal Netflix site looks like. Now we'll give the Minimax agent a prompt to recreate that site. We can also upload files or connect to other services using MCP services. These are the services we have access to. Let's start the conversation. And the agent gets to work. Notice how detailed the prompt is. We include specific features we want, the design system, and even the hex code for Netflix's brand color. Now we watch as the Minimax agent analyzes our request and starts generating code. Lovable handles the React components, while Manus takes care of the app's structure and logic. And here's the generation process in action. It pulls the right images, builds the component layout, creates styles and animations. All we need to do now is wait a little bit. We got an impressive result. Let's take a closer look at what the Minimax agent created. As you can see on the screen, the Netflix clone looks just like the real thing. We can open it in a new tab. And everything matches the original Netflix perfectly. Really cool. There's a professional backdrop with dark tones. The text and buttons are positioned pretty similar to the original website. The play button has the proper play icon. The more info button is there for extra details. The Netflix logo is spot on. Full navigation is included. Home, TV shows, as well as movies, new and popular, and others. Search and user profile icons are all there. The dark theme has the right contrast. The trending section features horizontal scrolling with hover effects just like on Netflix. The movie posters look very realistic. The agent paid attention to all the details, typography, spacing, color scheme, and animations. But it didn't just build a full clone, it also generated full project documentation. This includes a file with the technical description of the website, a to-do checklist of completed tasks, and the project's technical requirements. Plus, a complete source code package in a zip file, ready to deploy or modify, with all assets and configurations included. The Netflix clone is fully mobile responsive. When we check the mobile version, everything adapts perfectly. The result is impressive. It's hard to tell the clone apart from the original. The agent nailed even the smallest details of Netflix's design system. So as you can see, the Minimax agent shows incredible power in creating complex web apps. The combination of Manus and Lovable lets you turn ideas into working products in minutes, while keeping the code quality high and following modern development standards. And with the Minimax agent, you can also create fully functional online stores. Ok folks, let's ask it to build an electronics store with the usual key features you'd expect on a website like that. We start the generation. The agent gets to work. Now we wait for the result. It picks the product images on its own, decides the store layout, chooses which products to include, and generates all the necessary files automatically. Let's give it a moment. And after a little while, we get the result. The agent tells us what it created, shows the website link, the visual elements, and some deployment information. So let's check out the website we generated. As you can see, guys, the site is nicely organized. The products are clearly laid out. There's a smart filter, and each product has a full product page that we can view. There's an Add to Cart button, an option to choose the quantity, a description, and full specifications. Everything looks well put together. Let's try adding something to the cart. There are pop-up tooltips. Everything looks really well done. The cart shows a label with the number of items inside. There's an About section. Store values. The team behind the shop. A feedback form in the footer. And full contact details. You can also navigate to these pages. And it all looks super polished. In the shopping cart, we can change quantities. Delete items. And go to checkout which already has Stripe payment fully set up. All that's left is to deploy the site online and start selling. Final thoughts. All right, guys, so that's Minimax Agent in action. It's not just another AI that spits out text or answers questions. This thing actually builds stuff, and it does it all just from a prompt. No coding, no setup, no tech stress. Whether you're someone with zero experience or a developer looking to move faster, Minimax Agent really feels like a shortcut to getting real work done. If you want to give it a try, there's a link in the description.
Go check it out and see what you can build. And hey, I'd love to hear from you. What would you create with Minimax Agent? A game? A portfolio site? Something totally wild? Drop your ideas in the comments. I read all of them. And who knows, maybe I'll feature your prompt in a future video. Feel free to check out the links in the description below. You might find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and till next time.